Good morning, my friends. I want to do a quick little flip through of my January journal before I archive it later on today. I've had a lot of requests for flip throughs on my journals and um, YouTube's on my method. I've also had requests for flip throughs on my traveler's notebook setup. So I thought I would just do it quickly this morning while I had a little bit of time. This is my January um, journal. As you know, I hand paint these and I have them in my shop. I get all of my journals from AOR Journals and that's Anne from AOR Journals who is wonderful to work with. She is amazing. She is um, accommodating. If you want a journal that's 400 pages and bound, she will do it for you. If you want a journal that's 200 pages or 20 pages, she'll accommodate you. Her covers are made out of gorgeous watercolor stock or mixed media stock or um, card stock. You get to customize it any way you'd like. And the inside pages, again, you can customize them. You can have lined, you can have grid, you can have calendars, anything you want. So I buy them both from her because she has been such a fabulous supplier for me. And um, you guys should check out her Instagram account. I believe she's at AOR Journals. If not, I'll double check before I upload this to YouTube and I'll put the links underneath. So here's my January journal. I always hand paint the covers, as I said, and I always try to put a, some kind of a fun hand painting uh, front cover here. This page is always a welcome to the month. I always do them differently. Sometimes I'll put a calendar there. Sometimes I'll just say hello. Sometimes I'll hand paint something. All through my journals, I have hand painting on the pages. You do not have to do that. Many people don't. A lot of people use these journals as bullet journals. A lot of people use them as lists for the month for their to-dos. Um, others use them as art journals. I like to hand paint and uh, do graphics on a lot of the pages because that's what gives me inspiration and ideas for future journal covers. They pop out, I see how well they're received, and I say, yeah, that would be a great one. So you see a lot of hand painting on my pages. As far as my method, there is no rhyme or reason to my method. I've had so many of you ask me to do a periscope or to do a YouTube on my method. Really what I do is I splash cover on my pages. I've been doing the dark colors lately. I love that palette. And um, whatever kind of creative mood I'm in that day, that kind of drives what I put on the pages as far as stamping or uh, washi or whatnot. So that is really my method. It's fly by the seat of your pants. I have no method. So um, this is a cute snowman. Love this guy. I. He almost made it to the cover of one of my uh, journals, but actually on a lot of my January journals, I put them on the dashboard on the front or on the back cover. So, and as you know, this cute little bunny made it to the cover of one of my journals, and he was so well received that people ordered him for January journals, February journals. Um, they're ordering him now for March journals, and I'm going to be sad to see him go. I love this little painting. Love these trees. Anytime there's birch trees in any of my graphics, you know it's a favorite of mine. Love the cardinal. Have, he has not made it to the cover of my journal yet, but I think he is going to. Look for him coming soon. Cardinals have a special place in my heart because whenever I see one, out in nature, outside. It reminds me of a loved one who has passed on, and I feel like it's an angel coming back to visit me. I've, I'd always heard that tale, so I think I am going to do something very, very similar to this for, for one of my uh, journals coming soon. I love the dragonfly. Dragonflies are fun to paint. They're, I think they're gorgeous. And I have a friend, 3D Sassy, on IG, and her name is Deb, and she's such a sweetheart. She is a lover of summer. I am a lover of winter. And when she saw me paint this in my January journal, she was kidding me that, aha, I think you're ready for summer. Nope, Deb, couldn't be farther from the truth. I want this snow to come down through March or April. 
So I've done lots of things with uh, these dragonflies on covers. Keep flipping through, love doing coffee cups, love painting tools that I work with. The high heels, I thought that those went well with the, don't ever let your head down unless it's to admire your shoes. Love that quote, and it isn't it the truth. Again, you're gonna see all kinds of dark paints. Uh, classic colors on the backs of my, uh, on the backdrops of my pages. I just think it makes everything pop. I think it makes the graphics pop. I think it makes the, the scripting pop. I think it, I think the washi looks beautiful, coordinating with it. Here's this little guy again. This was my last page of January. January was a short book for me because I was on vacation for a couple weeks. And when I go on vacation, I normally slip a travel journal in place of the monthly journal inside of my uh, traveler's notebook, and, and I journal in there. I use one journal for my travels, and I, each time I go somewhere, I'll make a separate page. I'll make like a, a page saying where I'm going, and then I'll use maybe five or six pages, and then I keep going. So I have one travel journal that, you know, might go two or three years. It's fun to have. So then that's the back of this one. Little mittens, love those for January. And I just wanted to do a real quick flip through of my Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook. I believe this was probably my very first Traveler's Notebook I ever bought. And she has been with me through thick and thin. I, I tried all different sizes. I do love the narrow for my daily at home, but recently, I started using B6 and A6. These sizes are fabulous to carry with you. They have enough room for journaling if you're out and about somewhere. And this is one of my angel journals. I'm gonna talk about that in just a few minutes. I just put her into here because I just got these two. These are my two favorite sizes. Chic Sparrow, gorgeous, toffee color. Go see Jennifer over at The Chic Sparrow on IG. You can get yourself one of these. These are gorgeous. Let me show you one more time. They have pockets inside, place for my calendar, place for an extra little uh, dashboard here. Love them. Great sizes, great color. It's my favorite and my favorite size. Okay, so now back to my daily traveler's notebook. Here's February. This is how I have it set up from February through May. Then I'll switch over for the summer. Okay, I always have a clear cover, um, over, which I think I bought this at Chic Sparrow too. It's a dashboard, and as you all know, I'm starting to make my own dashboards right now. Most of them are cardstock from craft stores, and what I do is I will add hand distressing to them, hand painting to them, just a little bit to add to them, and then I laminate them, and um, I put them around all of my journals to protect them. So this is my February, it's the sled, it's the snow, love both of them. There's my little calendar, it's a reference calendar to show which dates fall on which days, in case you need to see that. There's my welcome February, love this owl, I've been painting a lot of owls and birds and uh, penguins. I love putting these little critters, adding them to my daily pages, I think they add a lot. I do a lot of coffee cups, I don't think you can ever have too many coffee cups, love this coordinating purse with the beautiful peonies in there um, and here's my angel and I just wanted to talk about that just for a moment this was a new series that I introduced to all of you but she is not new to me as far as painting I started painting her in 2016 I started a project called the angel joy project and what I do is I paint these journals they're usually in an A6 size. This one's not finished yet. I just did the cover and what I normally do, I wish I had one to show you that was complete, but I've just mailed them all out yesterday. What I do is I paint this front page, I paint this and I put a Bible uh, verse on here and it's usually Psalm uh, 91, 11 to 12 and that is about angels watching over you in times of sorrow or in time, you know, in, in terrible times, going through health problems, any kind of problems. What I do is when I started this project a year ago, I, um, I decided to mail these out to anybody that I knew 
or pe friends who had friends would come to me, ask me to paint them, and I would send them to people who are going through um, health struggles right now, mainly cancer, cancer struggles, cancer battles, because when I um, fought my own cancer battle four or five years ago, journaling is really what helped me get through writing and journaling. It's such a great way to purge your thoughts. I would put my thoughts in here, my fears. I'd put in my schedules. I'd put in all of any kind of visits I had to make back and forth to the hospital because um, as any of you who have fought cancer or known anybody else who has, you know that your life changes. It suddenly is focused on hospital visits and everything else comes to a halt. This really helped me through. So I started the project. I mailed these out to anybody just as a little gift and a little, you know, uplifting, you know, hope, faith, love for them to, to make it through. My dream is to start actually a foundation. I haven't gotten that far yet. Right now the project's going fabulous. So that's what it is for now. And I love these angel journals so much that I thought I'm going to add an angel series to my shop. They've been received unbelievably, and so many people have ordered them, using them as their daily devotions books to go along with, Bible studies. They are personal journals. People use them just as monthly journals. They're gorgeous. Love them. So you can take a peek of those at my shop. Been doing a lot of flowers lately, again with the dark backgrounds. Love this. I see all of you doing your little palettes like this. I don't know if it has an official name or not, but it's a palette like this, and you put down your, your colors that you're using. This has been my colors theme through February, so I thought, I'm going to put that right onto my pages. I think it looks gorgeous. I'd like to start doing that at the front pages of my journals, like the palettes that I'm going to be using for that month. thought it turned out beautiful. Love these flowers. Been doing so many of these flowers lately. A lot of flower baskets. These are... Um, pages that you've seen recently. This is just the 15th of this week. This was Reach for the Stars. Love these dark colors. This was Friday. Love this little guy. Like I said, I love putting any kind of creatures, birds, anything on my pages. And they always do inspire me um, to paint new journal covers. Um, this was for today. Been doing a lot of these little uh, ceramic baskets with flowers in them. I think I'm going to do a garden series maybe for the summer or possibly just a garden or um, flower themed journal. So look for that coming soon. This is for tomorrow. Again, the dragonflies. Love them. And let's see. Mondays, I already did a little piano keyboard. That's nothing. So there we go. That's the end of that. Then I have my folder. I keep little things in there. A bookmark. I keep uh, little stickers, things that I might be putting, adding to pages later on. Here's one of my handmade dashboards. Absolutely love it. Didn't know if you guys were aware of this or not, but every one of my dashboards are reversible, meaning not just that they're lined. If you want this color, you use this color. Okay, you've used that for white. Don't want that color anymore. Now I'm going to use this color. So the beautiful thing about dashboards is that they last forever. It's a great investment. Journals are awesome. Journals are temporary. They're going to last you a month. They're going to last you six months. They're going to last you a year, whatnot. Then you archive them. Then you put a new one inside the dashboard. Dashboards make your journals individual. They kind of customize them to your own taste, to your own method. I love them. I have all of them. I have all of my journals wrapped around them now. Okay, I always carry my business cards with me. Always, always, always. Here's another. I love this. I love anything that's vintage. So I made this for myself. The old guest check, the old typewriter, some glued in things down here. The back side is polka dot. When I get tired with that side, I'll go with the polka dot. Here's my April. Love my April journal. And the back of it. I This was a custom order that... Um, I don't know if all of you know Bonita Rose. She's a wonderful member of our journal community. And she had requested floral with a some kind of a quote on the back. Choose kindness and laugh often. 
I loved it so much that I ended up making it for myself.